Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Mother. Last time, we arrived here in LA, and uh, fought some gang members, and we did a performance and got Teddy in our party, but that means that Lloyd was kicked out. Poor Lloyd. Still bullied, but oh well, Teddy is uh, pretty amazing. I did, um, off screen I actually went back and uh, before I got Teddy, fought some gang members and they dropped some flamethrowers and man, those things are, the drop rate on those is pretty dang low because uh, it took me quite some time to get three of them. But I got three of them and I believe, did I put them in storage? I hope I did. Yeah, I put them in storage. For later. But uh, yeah, I also did some grinding, so Nintendo's at 29, Anna's at 26, Teddy's at 21. Also, Anna learned something that I really suggest you learn yourself before you I go off to uh, the next part, which is PK Beam Gamma. Automatic death for anybody you hit. Now, it may seem like that's a bit abusive, but remember that this game has extremely powerful enemies that can come in big groups, and this game is more focused on um, sort of random battles rather than boss fights because, well, let's face it, how many boss fights have we had in this game, like two? Ah, uh, depends on what you consider a boss fight, but I, I think it's just been like two official boss fights. No. I think I've already talked to you, but oh well, anyway, head up to the northeast here, just follow this trail. Uh, don't be afraid to go all out on these fights because we're going to find a healing spot pretty soon. Let's see. Um, let's go down here. Uh, it looks like we're heading back toward the swamp, but don't worry, we're not. Yeah, Teddy is amazing. Um, he'll be a good character to keep around for a bit to uh, for, for some grinding because he's faster than Nintendo. It's harder. He's just uh, all around amazing. Anyway, here's a little house right here out in the middle of nowhere. With a very awesome guy here. See, isn't he awesome? Also, he will give you free life upgrades. This dude is freaking amazing. And, um, I'm not sure if you can actually sleep here. I don't think you can restore PP here. I might be mistaken. Let's, uh. Oh, yeah, you can sleep. Dang, I have to. I'm an idiot, I should have seen that. So you can restore everything you need here, so... If you want to, feel free to do some grinding around this area. Or in the area ahead that I'm about to show you. Anyway, I'm actually uh, gonna keep getting life up creams from him until I'm all full up, because... You hunt as many as possible, trust me. So, just a sec. Alright, I'm all full up on life up creams, yeah, so... They're free, so just fill up, don't feel guilty. Anyway... Just head over this way. And we come up to a cave. Now, uh, this cave is a maze. A, like, the maziest part of this whole game, pretty much. Um, but it does have the best weapons for Ninten, Anna, and Teddy. So it's worth getting those. And I really hope I can find my way around this area. Because it also has, um, some pretty tough enemies. Well, one in particular that <laughs> is a real pain. Not this one so much. Blue Starman. Same as regular Starman, just a little bit more defense, a little bit more health. Bloody bloody blah, blah. Out of battle. Yeah, look at the damage Teddy does. And that's with a really high defense on that Blue Starman's part, but... It's all good because we're both faster than this blue star man, and we kill it. Mwah. But uh, there's one other. There's only two kinds of enemies, and it's the other one I'm worried about. Now I head around here. Oh, I'm gonna need to throw away a life up cream. Hold on. All right, so check this out. We get a katana. As if Teddy wasn't powerful enough. He gets the most powerful freaking weapon in the game, the katana. And we can just, uh, throw away the sword. I could sell it, but, uh, uh I, don't, I don't even think I'll need money for the rest of this game. 
All right. Ooh, that's awesome. Now let me see where I'm going now. Okay, I think I know where I'm going for the next item. So just go in here. And let's see, where did I end up? Around this area. Alright, that prison has a uh, life up cream, but we're already full up on them and we don't have any more room. Well, we do have another spot, but it's going to be for the next item I picked up. Anyway, uh, and I learned a new ability. Let's see what it was. Brain Cyclone. I think that's the same as Brain Shock, but it affects all enemies. Alright. Oh, wrong button. So go around here. Yeah, everything looks the same, so it's so hard to figure out where you are. But, um... I know where I am. I know exactly where I am. And if we just head over here, this is going to be an item for Anna. So I want to clear out one of, clear open one of her spots. So let's give a life up cream to Teddy, who has a spot open, and open her up. Iron skillet, her ultimate weapon, which she's probably never going to use because she's more focused on uh, PSI attacks. But still, it can it can pack a pretty decent wall. It might uh, be good for hitting that little bit of life they have left. And we can throw away the non-stick pan. Now where to next? Alright, so one more weapon to get. And we're gonna go up another level. Ooh, for Teddy, nice. That's gonna... See, look how much. Fight increased by five. Speed increase by four. He uh, does massive increases for his uh, speed and strength. Nice. And of course, he doesn't have any PSI moves, so no PP for him. Let's see, and then I believe head down here. Sees. Man, Teddy's just one-shotting those. There's a blue star man, and oh man, I took a lot of damage in that battle. Teddy actually got knocked out by PK Beam Gamma, of course, but uh, no clue we have uh, Anna to revive him. And Nintendo goes to the next level. Uh, not big stat increases, but they'll help. See, level 30, this is uh, the level I beat the game on the first time I played, so I'll be at a higher level this time. Ooh, nice. Uh, one PP. Uh, let me heal up. Anyway, let me guess, that one other enemy that's in this cave is not going- Well, it appeared plenty when I was grinding here, of course, but not now. Let's see, and hopefully, in this room, yes, in this present, if we can get to it, is... Hank's Badge. Yep, named after Hank Aaron himself, and that is... Finally, another weapon for Ninten. Man, we haven't had another weapon for him since uh, Magic Hand. He's had the boomerang this whole time. But, give him that, and that should give him a nice increase in his attack. So let's just get rid of this. Now to find my way out of here. Which actually shouldn't be too hard since it's right on the way. Ooh, another level for Anna. Let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. Yeah, Anna's already fast enough where she's uh, faster than the enemy, so she's getting hits off first. Something Lloyd needs to work on. Ooh, nice increase in PP. And another PSI power, man. She just racks those things up. What did you learn this time, Miss Anna? Ah, uh, PK Fire Beta. A strong fire attack that attacks every enemy on screen. Alright, so just head up this trail. We should almost be out. Oh, and another level for Teddy. Nice. More increase to fight. Awesome. Speed. I like Teddy has enough speed, so it doesn't really matter how much he increases, because he's always going to be faster than every enemy we encounter. Nice. Let me do a little healing. Oh, by the way, uh, Ninten, 
Uh, also learned uh, Life Up Beta, which he didn't have for quite a long time, so that, that helps. Let's see. I believe this is... PSI Stone. Awesome. And we're probably going to have to use one. Like, I've never had to use one before, but I probably will, because uh, Anna's going to be using a lot of PP in this next area coming up here. We are now at the Mount Itoi Plateau, and, uh... Unless you couldn't tell by the freaking ominous music, things are going to get a little bit rough here. Alright, so let's, uh... Scale this mofo. You want to look for vines like this, that you can climb. Oh, grizzly bear, great, these things. Not only are they extremely powerful, they also have, um... Last attacks, which if you kill them, they have a chance to do a last attack, which just it could it it's pretty much a one shot so uh with these guys the safest thing to do is use a pk beam gamma just kill them up all right just use up the pp cuz these guys um they don't mess around look at that look at that damage oh yeah, see? That uses up a lot of PP. Luckily, I've been saving up on uh, PSI stones. Great, Nintendo was knocked out. Luckily, you have super healing! And it also returned, uh, heals up all your HP so you don't like start off at 1 HP. Man, yeah, there was another grizzly bear that it can also do a continuous attack where, as you've probably seen, it will attack twice in a row, the same character. And, oh, we have Mega Borgs, which, um, I don't think these guys are too much to worry about. Man, they're throwing some weird enemies at us right now. Where are these things coming from? I'm, I'm really enjoying PK Fire Beta, so I'm going to use that. Teddy, you can get B, Beta, B. I always want to say, like, Beta when it's A and B now. Ow. Dang it, and it's still a little bit too slow now for that, for these enemies at least. Ow. Oh man, she's uh, pretty much out of PP. Crap. Um. You do that, you guard, and you get this guy. Come on! Dang it! Not Anna, not Anna, not Anna! Oh, so lucky! Oh, jeez, okay, but this'll, this'll take care of him. Oh man. Yeah. Enemies here, not something to be trifled with. That's why I wanted you to stock up on life upgrades. Man, PSI Power Stones don't really give you that much PP. Like, they're reusable a few times, but they're only for, for like 18 at a time, and you can use it a few times before it dries up. Yeah, feel free to um, use your Onyx Hook and get the heck out of here when you need to. Do not worry about it. You can uh, go through here once and like get some experience and have a rough time of it. Then use a, uh, and uh, use teleportation to get out of here. Then go back to that healer, stuck up on life creams again, and go through it again. May seem like a bit of a hassle, but uh, it's a good way to do things. Oh man, where am I going now? Um, the sewer. And ooh, we have another house in the middle of nowhere. So let's go inside. And there's a guy, and a phone, and all, a bunch of good stuff. Now, take my advice now. Stop what you're doing. Stop. Take your hands off the controls. You doing it? Alright. Don't head to that room to the left right now. I guess you can if you want to, but it's going to uh, set off a chain of events that, um... That you, I, I, I don't suggest you go through at the moment. At least not if you want to grind a little bit more with uh, Mr. Teddy here. I'll just say that much. So, talk to this guy. Ah. 
And we are all healed up. This guy is awesome, so another little heal point. So you can do some grinding here, which is what I'm going to do, and I still have a little bit of time left, so let's see if I can't run into some more enemies you haven't seen yet. Don't go into that room on the left. Seriously, don't do I I'm watching you. We have new enemies here, and great, we ran into three of them, perfect. Rock oils, luckily, we can just go all out on them, of course. Um, let's see, you do that, you do that, and you go for sleep. I don't think they're, yeah, they're not that hard. Hey, you see, oh, we're getting lots of smash attacks, which I'm loving. I actually think the hang spat, which we just got, um, increases chances of getting a smash attack, so not bad. Now there's still one enemy I want to run into, the one that was in that cave that I didn't, you can still run into it out here, so hopefully I'll find her, maybe it'll just be another little pissy enemy like the, uh, buffalo was. Alright. Well, we got another little teddy. Sweet. So that, that'll that just help even more. Even more one-shots for these enemies. Oh, and here it is. The Cerebrum. This guy. Oh, man, this guy. Probably one of the hardest enemies in the game, not gonna lie. Looks ridiculous, but, um... Well, just see for yourself. So let's just do regular fighting attacks. Let's go with PK Beam Beta. And you hit it. Alright. Okay, not bad with the damage. It was a lot less before when he was at a lower level, but yeah. It has very high defense. But note that um, it, it does have a, it is a good place to um, use PSI magnet to get some extra PP from it. So yeah, I might as well show you how that works if uh, we don't kill it in the next round. PSI magnet and fight. Yeah, this is fast too. It's faster than even Teddy. And see how much HP it has. Oh, but we killed it. Alright. Yeah, that was a lot harder when I was at lower levels. Oh, and more enemies. Titanian. Hmm. I think these guys have pretty high... Yeah, these guys have really high defense. If you get a smash attack in, you can take them up pretty easily, but, um... Let's see... I believe I have defense down beta. Let's use that. And Anna, use your you get fire beta, and you just attack. Ah, no smash attack. Yeah, only 24. That this thing has really high defense, but let's take it down a notch. That was not as much as I was hoping. Hopefully this will do some damage. Aha, there we go. Yeah, these guys have 320 HP each, so be careful. Um, I just fight. Use another PK Fire Beta, and just fight. So, oh, seriously? We did, did defense down and it's still not doing anything, man. These guys are tough. Okay, Ninten, how about you do some healing on Anna? Anna, let's do some more PK Fire Beta. And just attack. Oh crap. Well, luckily, uh, Anna's gonna be doing the heavy damage here, so I'm not too worried. Still not enough. Hmm. Oh man, what can do the puzzle? I don't know. Okay, so I'll just keep going with this. I 
somehow. But that's why we have the healing guy. I'm like right next to his house, so I'm not too worried. Come on. Yes, one of them's dead. You know what? I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Same thing as before. There we go. There's a lot of PP, but like I said, we're right next to the healing guy. But do you know what? Yeah, see, look how, how many steps I am away from his house. There's one more. Let's see. Let me see. Um. Okay, there are two more enemies I've yet to see, but uh, we'll be going through here a bit more, and I'm going to be doing some grinding, so I'll make sure to. Have a safe state ready if I get run into any more of these enemies. But, um, uh, what lies a Mounty toy, and why won't I let you go into that second room? You're just gonna have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.